Recently, the FAA has made changes to the lens procedures, especially if you're going to be flying close to an airport. So let's go ahead and talk about all these changes. You definitely want to be paying attention to that. Recently, we went on the UAS facility map and then we realized that in order to get approval to fly close to an airport, well, some things had changed. In the past, what you would see on the US facility map was airports that had all green or airports that had all red. And if you don't know what the difference between these two is, green means that the airport is part of lens, which means that you can use a lens provider such as a loft and get approval pretty much immediately to fly in that airspace. And then we had airports that were not part of lens, typically military airports, and these were all in red. Well, now what you see actually, if you look on the UAS facility map, and this is Florida right here, uh, you see that there's a bunch of centers, it almost looks like a donut with some jelly on the inside, um, that have red portions. And this was never the case before. So we reach out to the FA and we find out what the truth actually is. And what they told us is that in uh, most of these airports that are part of Lens, so the green airports are still part of Lens, if you want to fly near an airport, this is Miami International Airport right here, you're going to have to request approval to fly there via the FAA drone zone, not via an FAA lens provider. In the past, if you wanted to fly in that zero grid right in the middle here, you would go to, you could technically go to a provider like Aloft and then submit your request. And then all of a sudden, it would have to go through uh, additional approval and go to the FAA. But what the FAA is saying at the moment is that none of these approvals can be done via a lens provider because they're not capturing the uh, exact data that the FAA needs. And the only place where that's available is in the FAA drone zone. So the bottom line with this, this is a very quick video because this is a very simple change, but you need to be aware of this. If you see red right here, what it means is that that portion is not available via lens. The only way to get approval here is to go to the FAA drone zone. And so when you go into the FAA drone zone, you will be able to uh, submit just with a specific location and give them all the information that they need. And um, that's it. That's all. I'm done with this video. Let me know if you've actually had to do this and then how this worked. Put that down in the comments and I'll see you for the next video.